provider is not an architecture it is not state management it is simply a state management helper in fact block library is built on top of provider as provider doesn't really manage state it provides tool to manage state there's a lot less boilerplate code to write when using provider as it is a wrapper around inherited widget a widget provided by flutter itself to pass data between other widgets using provider we can separate business logic from ui making our code much easier to test and maintain in this tutorial we will go through different type of providers and understand when to use what type of provider first one is provider itself as the name suggests provider provides data to widgets below it in the widget tree to demonstrate this i'll wrap the root of my widget tree with provider this acts like a storehouse for data wait a minute which data whatever we pass in the create argument it can be string boolean and even instance of a class to read this data in a widget we can use provider dot of then the type of the data we returned followed by context what happens behind the scenes is it goes up the widget tree finds the provider widget closest with the type we return and spits out the data that's stored we can see the data correctly when we display it on the screen as well if you find the syntax really long you can use context dot watch followed by the type of provider and it will work the same way provider is a read only widget which means it cannot modify the value initially passed to it so how do we modify the values with the help of change notifier provider instead of provider we will pass in change notifier provider and in the create argument pass in a data model to create a data model we will create a class instantiate a private variable create a getter and a function that increments the variable's value by 1 to make this work properly with change notifier provider extend the class with change notifier which provides us with notify listeners function whenever this function is called it notifies change notifier provider and widgets listening to it are rebuilt if you don't use notify listeners the ui of the app won't get affected even though the data in our case counter variables value changes also note that more functions like decrement and reset can be added in the model class itself getting data is same for all providers we just need to specify the type of provider properly since we have counter returned in chain notifier provider we will replace string with counter but as you can see this returns instance of the counter class so we will use counter getter we created in this class to see the count now to implement the increment function we can use this line why let's break it down provider dot of counter context will return to us the instance of the counter class on this instance we are calling increment function inside of which we call notify listeners and this will rebuild this widget since we are listening to it but what if i don't want to listen meaning i don't want the widget to rebuild so i can set listen to false for a shorter syntax we can use context dot read it's worth noting that context dot read cannot be called inside build function on the other hand context dot watch cannot be called outside of build function another thing to note is context dot watch should generally be used when every part of the widget needs that value because it makes the entire widget rebuild for example when i click on the increment button only the counter needs to rebuild but in reality even the text and floating action button rebuild this might not seem like a big difference but what if you're building twitter like app and to update the number of likes you're rebuilding the whole postcard To prevent this unnecessary widget rebuild, wrap the counter text with consumer widget, which will make only the widget returning from it rebuild. Give consumer the return data type, and to get the data, we can use instance of return data type provided to us. Don't forget to remove your context dot watch calls, otherwise it will still rebuild the entire widget. Next type of provider is stream provider. From the name itself, we know that it will help us manage stream data. It is like stream builder but with lesser boilerplate. Instead of chain notifier, wrap my app with stream provider. In the create argument, pass in a stream like this. In our case, it will output zero to nine with a gap of one second after each number. Initial data argument is also required. It is the data to be displayed until the above stream gives us a value. To read this, go down to the consumer, replace counter with int, which is the data type we are returning from stream provider, and remove dot counter. It works properly if we restart the app. equivalent of consumer in this case will be the following future provider is similar to stream provider 
it to accepts initial data and create arguments and works the same way so i'm not going to rewrite the whole thing but basic difference is future provider returns a value after the future is completed now we know about most of the essential providers but here comes the problem what if i want to use both stream provider and change notifier provider together in the application we can do something like this right wrap my app with provider pass data in create and in the child change notifier provider likewise we can do for hundreds of providers in a vast app right no why use this nesting help when only a single provider can help us which is multi provider it accepts list of providers in the argument and that's it that's how easy it is to add multiple providers in our application now the last provider we're going to look at is proxy provider when one of our provider depends on value returned from another provider we use proxy provider to demonstrate this i'll create another class in our code called second class and accept instance of firebase auth from constructor here we can create any method that we want i'll just keep it empty now i want to provide this class so i'll go into the multi provider where firebase auth is already provided to access this firebase auth instance i will use proxy provider the syntax is like this proxy provider and unlike other providers we pass two types independent class and the dependent class then we need to pass update argument which gives us context followed by instance of the independent and dependent classes we will return the class from this function passing auth as the argument this will make our provider work but what if the class doesn't need one but two three even four instances we will use proxy provider 2 3 four and so on for it and that's pretty much it if you want to build a project with provider to understand it check out these full stack project tutorials